Hello students, let us consider this question number 15. It reads that, that there is a small ball of mass m naught which is suspended from a thread of length l which is attached to at the top of a pole and this is mounted on a block A of mass m. So, this is block A and its mass is m1 and there is a ball this is length l thread length and this ball is of mass m naught. So, we are using this figure as uh, simultaneously. This it says the block A and the ball both are moving with velocity u. So, this is moving with velocity u at the same time this ball is also moving with velocity u and then they are uh, going to strike with the block B which is of mass m2 which is at rest condition. The ground is frictionless so there is no frictional force acting in the horizontal direction. We need to find the minimum value of u so that the ball can move on a complete circular path. So, it involves the concept re concepts related to the vertical circular motion. Now, this is the picture, let us say this picture is uh, just before the collision. So, just before the collision. After collision, this A and B stick together, the equation says so. So, let us consider uh, the situation just after. So, the two blocks will combine together like this and they will be moving. So, this was block A and there is a block B. So, this is A, this is B. They are moving with velocity, let us say combined velocity is V. Moreover, uh, this situation is of just after the collision. Now, there was a pole, so there will be still a pole and there is a hanger and there is a string connected like this. Now, just after collision you will find this particle or ball will be moving with velocity u itself. So, whatever the velocity it had just before the collision, just after the collision it will have the same velocity. This is a very small point, but an important one. Let me explain why so. You can also think of. Uh, this block A and this rod frame, they are rigid bodies. So, they will have the same velocity. Now, this is a string which is connecting the ball. When the collision takes place, there is going to be force on A in the horizontal direction, but this string will have a tension in the vertical direction. So, there will be no horizontal component of that force. Can you think of? So, this velocity in horizontal direction will not change at all. Now, using this, we can say uh, at this uh, collision period, there will be no force coming in the horizontal direction. So, that will allow us to apply linear momentum conservation in horizontal direction. Let us call that as x direction. So, if we apply that, we are going to get like initial momentum was m1, mass is was moving with velocity u and later on they move together. That means, m1 plus m2, they are moving with velocity v. So, this will help us to find the final velocity which is basically m1 u divided by m1 plus m2. Moreover, when we come to uh, the frame of A or block, then we can see how this ball is going to move. So, let us say we are working now with respect to uh, block A or B because they are moving together just after. So, this is just after situation. Now, we work with respect to uh, block A, then you will find the string will appear like this, simplified picture. This will be the center tight point, this is going to the string, this is going to ball, ball is going to have a velocity in this direction. Now, since we are working with respect to A, so the velocity that will be there now just after case is going to be u minus v, relative velocity. This was moving with velocity u with respect to ground, this is the velocity v with respect to ground, so velocity of this particle or ball with respect to A is going to be u minus v. And now, we want this to make a complete circle, vertical circle. So, since you must be knowing this for vertical circle, minimum velocity is uh, given by root 5 gl. So, for complete vertical circle, we know this u minus v the velocity at the bottom should be greater than or equal to root 5 gl. This is kind of a standard result that I am using. Now, if you use this along with the, along with this, we will be able to find what the minimum value of u is going to be. So, let us use that. 
So, it's going to be u minus v, v is like m1 u divided by m1 plus m2 and this should be greater than or equal to root 5 g l. Now, if you further simplify this, you can take u outside, then you can simplify, it's going to be like m2 divided by m1 plus m2. This should be greater than or equal to under root 5 g l. This will lead to u should be greater than or equal to m1 plus m2 divided by m2 into under root 5 g l. Now, it is asking for the minimum value of u. So, minimum will occur when there is going to be equality and this has been given uh, as an expression or range. So, that will become our final answer. Okay? So, that is how, uh, how we can solve it. Thank you.